Now that all of the downloading and installing of Game Salad for either Macintosh or Windows is out of the way, uh, we're ready to get rolling. This is the first window that pops up after you've opened Game Salad. And what we're going to do for this lecture is we're going to create a new project. There's also, you have an option to open recent projects. If you've been working in Game Salad, this is going to start to list all of the different games or projects you've been working on. And then there's a bunch of game salad learning options here, which I'm sure you'll want to check out during or after this course, just to uh, make sure you have as much information as possible. But what we're going to do here, we want to create a blank project. I'm going to click that. And then this just gives me some default info. We're going to be changing that right now. So you can really ignore that. If you had an icon, it would show here... Uh, you could put in the description of your game, and I'll show you that right now. So you click Create. I'm going to fill the window. And that icon and description would go right here. If you wanted to put an icon for your game, if you wanted to put a description for your game, you can put it in here. Add instructions right here. Tags right here. Tags are search terms that someone might use when searching for your game. Really, though, none of this matters. Because when you actually do go to publish your game, either for Android or iPhone or HTML5, wherever you're going to publish it for, you have options right in the publishing portal to put this in this same information in. And it does not pick it up from here. So if you put it here, you're going to have to re-put it all in again in the publishing portal. So I normally don't mess with any of this stuff. Up to you, certainly, if you want to fill it in have at it. It doesn't hurt anything. So there, there's no harm in it. So let's title our project. This, of course, title is where you do that. I'm going to say our first look. You can title that anything you want. Right here, this platform and resolution independence is really the important bit of this lecture. So this pull down menu is all of the different publishing options you have for your game salad projects which is a lot. There, there's a lot of options here. You certainly have iPhone, of course, iPads, Nook tablets, Kindle tablets. This Game Salad Arcade is HTML5. It's just Game Salad's way of saying HTML5. When you do publish a game through this, it automatically gets published into a, a web portal called Game Salad Arcade. And you can also publish it or use it on your own websites or third-party websites or whatever you want to do. And, and I'll be showing you how to do that in this series of lectures. You'll learn that definitely in this class. This 720p HD and MacBook are for desktop computers, Macintosh desktop and laptops. So you have that option. These legacy iPhones right down here at the bottom are for iPhone fours and threes. And this legacy web game, I would just pretend like that doesn't even exist. Just pretend it's not there. What that was, it was Game Salad's way of doing web publishing before HTML5. And you needed a plugin for your browser to be able to even play the games. And there's certainly no reason to do that today. You would want to use HTML5 for browser play. So just pretend that's not even listed. If you wanted to publish to an Android phone, as opposed to an Android tablet, which these, the Kindles and Nooks, certainly both run on a, a version of Android operating system, you would start, for Android phones, you would start with the iPhone landscape or iPhone portrait up here at the top, um, default settings. And that's really what this menu does. It sets up you pick your platform, and it's going to set up a whole bunch of default settings in your Game Salad project for whatever you're working on. So when you do have any iOS device, iPhones or iPads, checked up here as your target platform, you're given this option of resolution independence. And you would definitely want to check that. Because what that does is it lets your graphics be used, and it's specifically a graphics thing for pictures, sprites, icons, whatever kind of graphical elements you might have, it lets that your one set of graphics work both for the retina display 
and the non-retina display devices. So you create one set of graphics and it looks good on both retina screens and non-retina screens. So you definitely want to do that. For example, if you picked Game Salad Arcade HTML5 developing, you're going to get a warning that says, are you sure you want to change your settings? But the resolution independence goes away because that's only for eye devices. So even if I went to Nook, still not there because Nooks don't have retina displays. So let's set ours up for an iPad landscape. Make sure resolution independence is checked. And that's it. That is it for this lecture. Next lecture, we're going to dive into the scenes tab here in detail. So uh, if you have any questions on the project info, starting a new project, definitely ask it here in class, and I'll be checking and answer that as soon as I can. I will see you in the next lecture.